Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai, welcome to my YouTube channel. So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video all about running the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game through emulation through something called Ryujinx on the Apple Silicon Mac. And at the time I said that there was still quite a lot of work left to be done. There were still various performance and graphical glitches. However, I still call it quite playable at the time. And I'm happy to say that the community has been hard at work improving this game's emulation on Macs. In particular, many of the most egregious problems have been fixed with the shadows. And finally, the vertex explosion issue with Link's hair has finally been fixed. The reason this bug happened is because a vertex attribute format is exceeded on Molten VK. As GDK Chan, the author of this pull request says, there are a few cases in Tears of the Kingdom where a four component format is used instead of a three component format, but everything is calculated for a three component format and the vertex shader only accesses three. And this basically causes some weird bugs on metal. And basically this pull request fixes the vertex explosions on Tears of the Kingdom and also seriously fixes issues with shadows so this is before and then after and also really fixes problems with Link's hair. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download this fix and also what the best up-to-date mods are and how to get Tears of the Kingdom working best on your Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So I've been comparing two different Ryujinx builds so the one that I recorded my main video on last is known as the Perry Perry build. However the build we're going to be using today comes from GDK Chan in this pull request which I'll leave a link to in the description so just go to this link first and then scroll down until you get to the GitHub Actions bot. Then expand the section which says Experimental GUI Avalonia. And then we want to download the macOS Universal build. So just download this. And then within Finder, we're going to double click on this build, extract it. And now we have the new Ryujinx build here. I'm going to call this one by the author's name, GDK Chan. We're going to control click on this version, press open. And then that's going to allow us to manually open this application. If this is your first time using Ryujinx on a Mac, then make sure to check out my last video on the topic. This has the full process process for setting up prod.keys, title.keys, etc. You'll need to do this before moving on to the next step. So I'm using some mods from GBA10, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And this is basically an up-to-date collection of various fixed mods. And I'm going to be using these ones, which are recommended by the thread author. So basically all you need to do is to download this file at the top, then you'll get a mods.zip, which you'll unzip. And then this contains a collection of mods. And then within Reudings, you right click on Tears of the Kingdom and then go to open mods directory. And I'm basically copying and pasting these particular mods to try and get the best performance out of this game. You might want to mix and match this or scrap all of these and just use the 30 FPS stable static TOTK mod as this seems to be the most stable out of all of them and that's probably going to give you the best minimum performance. However I'll be testing today with a combination of just these mods. So another thing that you should do is to update to the latest version 1.1.1 and if you want to find out how to do title updates to set up your controller and also to set up the best graphic settings then make sure to check out the main Zelda Tears of the Kingdom setup video for Mac. I'll leave a link in the description for this video. So I've put the re -parry -parry build on the left hand side and the new GDK Chan pull request on the right. The builds are actually very similar however the GDK Chan version of Link's Shadow is far better with an accurate shape and size that isn't so distracting as with the previous builds and it also works perfectly fine in motion and casts correctly on all of the surfaces. Also the hair bug is fixed which only really revealed itself when you took off your hat or hood. Now we can see Link's full head of hair correctly without it exploding all over the place. So anyway it looks like Ryujinx support on macOS is improving pretty much day by day as more members of the community come together and contribute more and more fixes. Hopefully these are going to be integrated into the long awaited next official update of Ryujinx on Mac which will hopefully come in the future very soon. Big thanks to user GrapeFizz for lending me their Zelda save games. Anyway thank you for watching watching and I'll see you in the next video.